a lot, a lot, a lot of produce. Fruits, vegetables, ground provisions, spices being produced. Yeah. You go about the country, you see, we, we have been, um, the weather has been pretty good to the farmers. Thus far, the, the agricultural sector is showing the signs of revival. There are challenges, of course, yes. and I'll talk about a few of them. And the proposal which the farmers made is to, look, let us, without cutting out traffickers, and you wouldn't be able to cut out the traffickers, you know, you, you, people who still want to sell to them, and in any case, they are farmers. Some farmers who are themselves traffickers um, or members of the family, so they produce for them, so you can't tell them just to sell to one central agency. Legally, I'm talking about, and it wouldn't be sensible practically either. But we have under investigation the, the, the working out some details, and we have we took the decision at cabinet four weeks ago to see if we can revitalize a marketing corporation, but in a a new period of, of a different kind. I want the farmers to know that that is being explored. That is to say that the the, the the farmers and the government together would establish this particular facility, not just the state alone, not just the government alone, and which will purchase produce from the farmers and to make the arrangements for the export of those, those commodities. You know, we have gone, there are many formula, formulations like this. You know, we have had a banana growers association which did that. Then when the market preferences were, were being eroded and to the point of extinction. And fair trade issues had arisen. The fair trade organizations took over the marketing function. Before that, and until that itself also became uneconomical. Before that, you had and still have an art association. <coughs> in all your days when we had cotton, you had a cotton growers association, which involved in, with, the, with the marketing. And of course, you had a marketing corporation. And the former Labour Party had established this marketing corporation. It was working pretty well. It had an adjunct supermarket and they when the ndp came to office the the supermarket was basically turned into it, it, it deteriorated into more like a corner shop and the, the the marketing corporation was losing money and they essentially closed it down i'm hoping to have come to cabinet tomorrow a proposal which uh, um i'd ask the minister of agriculture in conjunction with the input warehouse to see the extent of the subsidy we're going to put in for the fertilizer because the prices are going sky higher. Yes. And unfortunately, as the prices are going sky high for the fertilizer and you have enough overproduction of commodities, some commodities, the prices of those are falling. For instance, tomatoes. You know, the, the, the price of tomatoes gone rock bottom now. Yeah.